Hello, Mr. Moog. Therapist will see you shortly. Don't go anywhere. What? Have you forgotten already? He's your friend, Ian Bell. He's delusional. He's suffering from some sort of psychosis. Oh, for it doesn't matter. Don't you get it? True or not, what they think do to him, what they do things do in him and her him here, is what far worse than what the things they do could ever have done out here. Things? Terrence twice. Don't tell me you're actually starting to believe these fantasies of his. I had to look around. Who knows? Maybe you belong there too. You know what? You always been one sick son of a bitch. Yeah. Tell me something I don't know. Okay. You're one sick son of a bastard. I knew that. Nice try, buddy. I'd only tell you that it is here where your friend will receive the help he desperately needs. Hello, you must be. Uh, stop right there, if you please. I prefer to avoid familiarizing myself with those close to the patients. Ye easier? Ah. Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to meet with the wonderful Moog. What Moog got to do? Mr. Faker! You want me to stay, Doctor? Stay? No, no. No, Connor Bell, that won't be necessary. Moog and I are simply gonna have a civilized conversation. Isn't that right, Moog? Yes. Where'd Moog go? Very good. Just remember to focus on yourself. May I sit? Have heard of me, Moog. My name is Terra Pissed. You can call me Terra Pissed. You're awfully quiet. I understand you've been having some... troubles. Of late. But, but not to worry. I'm here to help. Are you, are you worried? I don't really know what to, what to do. I don't really know what to do here. What do you say, Moog? Do you want my help? I don't, I don't really like therapists that much. I'm not gonna be able to meet your uh, gaze. There's nothing that you can do for Moog. If, if you are talking to Guga and Green and Moog don't want to hear it. Moog, I beg to differ. I see your legs. Can you tell me what happened? All right then, why don't we start with the obvious? You were found alone in your bedroom, clearly with emotional damage injuries. Both of your legs were broken. <laughs> How rude of me. <laughs> They're here. Uh, what are you doing? <gasps> here. Terrence, my apologies. I thought I. Who are you? Um, um, I'm uh, Moon, you see, and I am. Um, uh, I was. Um, He's a friend. Yeah, a friend. What's happened? Is Moog all right? I have absolutely no idea. T minus 15 seconds and Moog explodes. You don't understand. They're gonna hurt Moog again. Moog, please watch your voice. Okay, who's gonna hurt you? It's just you and me. No, no, it's never been just Moog. Can't you see? No, you couldn't possibly. You can't see them, but the They've always been here with me. All right. I'll buy it. Where are they exactly? Did you know? When, when Moon was a child, he used to play with dolls. Pardon me. Oh, sorry. Did 
Did Mook say dolls? What Mook meant to said was Q. I used to braid its hair, do its makeup. Oh, sorry, that was the doll. I'm sorry, Moog. I fail to see the connection. And no, that's that's not a joke because I wear glasses. I I don't understand your far reasoning. Moog Moog never had any friends, okay? Mother Mother made real sure of that. Moog just used to have so much fun with his cubes. I don't until she got fed up. She took them away too. Let Mook tell you. It was a nightmare. Mook, I have some good news. I think I'm finally ready to make my diagnosis. Please, you have to. You have to believe Moog. Something is literally here. There's definitely something here. There's no mistaking it. What I believe, Moog, is that you are suffering from a delusion of grandiosity. You've managed to convince yourself that you are haunted by supernatural beings. Do you know that delusion is a symptom often associated with schizophrenia? It's true. Oh, and uh, another symptom of schizophrenia? Self-harm, and that is in bold and underlined it. I'm recommending that you immediately be admitted to this hospital. We can then start your therapy as soon as possible. You'll be better in mm, no time. This can't be happening. Oh no, oh no, please, oh no, don't let this happen. Him, I, to Moog. Connor Bell, we're done here. Oh. Please, please don't leave move. <coughs> please, it sure is cold in here. Move freezing. To therapist, you're not taking move from me. Not a chance in the world. Terrence, I apologize, but I have no idea what you're insinuating, and my diagnosis is ready for you as well. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Moog doesn't know what the hell I'm You're gonna let Moog and me leave this diddle fuck diddle scum place as soon as possible. Moog! What? Moog! Stop sitting on the ground and just... Someone get help. Code 4? Code 4? 
We got a PIP room 4C sand backup. Oh my gosh, dude, I can't. Is there a faker? Come on, help me. I'm sorry. Mr. Faker! out. You made Moog better. How could Moog thank you? <laughs> You've given me everything you had. And when no one believed in Moog, Terrence did. We didn't even need a divorce. We're getting divorce. Funny thing is, Moog don't even know your name. Mr. Super Captain Super Spectacular Man? Oh, there you are. Mr. Super Captain Super Spectacular Man. Moog just, Moog just saw Nature Vapor Spectacular Nature Documentation Guy. Do you, do you know where you can, like, Moog can get the Kaguka and Grimas? That's right, Moog. Follow me. I'll show you where. Wait, Moog, Moog don't think Moog should be walking. That's okay. I have another beverage to give you. Go green, green, please. Moon just don't get it sometimes. Why do people think a moon is insane when Moon just trying to see how he feels? That's right, Moog. That reminds me of a story about my brother. See, they, they, have, they had a picnic. I'm sorry, Moog. I'm very fatigued. I haven't had a week's rest in months. You see, my brother liked peanut butter and jelly. 